My name is David G. Wilson. I'm an, an artist of, the, of Caribbean heritage. I came to this country 43 years ago from the island of Dominica. I've been painting for 45 years. I'm self-taught. And in 1980, I developed my style that I now call anthropomorphic alternative reality. It's a method where I juxtapose objects to create human form. And I try to relate it to the, the institution of slavery. From childhood, I've always been obsessed with the idea of slavery, that my ancestors were subject to slavery. So I paint in such a way to show that one may see the humanity in my work, but the slave master saw chattel, objects that he could buy and sell. Mm. So I have been, as I said, I've been painting for the past 45 years. Um, one of my paintings is presently at the Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C. It's called um, the Madonna of the Nappy Head Christ. And um, my works have been in several museums, like the African American Museum in Hempstead, the now defunct Family Museum, the Islip Museum. And um, in 1985, I undertook to do my largest piece, which was recently on display at Mega Evers College. It's nine feet by 16 feet and it is in honor of Dr. King, Martin Luther King. Um, one may see that painting on my website, which is davidgwilson.com, okay? So now, here one may see a human face, but it's represented by alternative realities. This is actually a view of my hometown in the Caribbean. Portsum of Dominica. Those two mountains exist. The boats in the harbor exist in the same manner. However, I've chosen to rearrange them in such a way as to create an alternative reality. Um, this is a self-portrait. And the colors speak to my obsession with slavery. My response to slavery, anger, and I've chosen to channel that anger into my work. Um, it's a self-portrait represented by objects, the way the slave master saw my ancestors as objects that they could buy and sell, chattel. So this piece I call chattel equation. Okay. Here I have a vase of flowers that Transforms, is transformed into a, a human form. As I said, there, there's one major theme running through my work, the representation of human, fact, uh, human beings as objects, which is the way slave masters saw our ancestors. Um, I also want, in doing that, I also want to transcend the three-dimensional, the traditional three-dimensional image. One, uh, for 500 years, artists have accurately depicted three-dimensional illusions on a two-dimensional surface. I want to create an, uh, uh, another dimension, which I call the alternative reality. It is a three-dimensional illusion on a two-dimensional support, and yet create an alternative reality. This is my challenge to Picasso. Uh, Picasso's Demoiselle d'Avignon. And this I call the Demoiselle de Marcel. I am a former French and Spanish teacher. I'm now retired from the public school system. And um, I call this Le Demoiselle de, uh, de Marcel, which is the young women of my, of my own making. Uh, here you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In this piece, you see one of the, the, what I call my mnemonic objects. 
mnemonic objects because they remind me of a human body part. And in, throughout my work, you may see the hand of bananas. It is a deferential reference to my father who worked with the banana industry in my home country for 17 of my formative years. So whenever one sees the hand of banana in my work, it's a reference to my father, the hand that fed me. Uh -huh. um, again, using objects to create human form. So you see a two-dimensional surface, a three-dimensional illusion of furniture, a still life, yet there's an alternative reality, a woman. Uh -huh. This is more historical. One may see um, Abraham Lincoln, but in actuality, it is a slave chasing freedom. Freedom is running away from the slave. He is a slave because he cannot catch freedom. And Lincoln, who represents the union, is trying to reconcile slavery and freedom. Um, there's a famous painting at the Louvre by Delacroix, Liberty Leading the People, and she's waving a, fla a French flag. So here I have Liberty, Black Liberty, running with the American flag, running away from the slave, who is also American, holding a, by the fact that he, he defended this country, he fought for this country, yet he's treated as a second-class citizen. So here you see him with the flag, which indicates that he is American, and Liberty running away from him, while Lincoln tries to reconcile the two. So this is called Liberty fleeing from the slave, while the Union tries to reconcile the two. <laughs>